Hey coaches, uh, Coach Greg here. I just want to give you some organization tips today on what I do and some of the tools that I use or one of the tools that I use is called Todoist. Uh, it's kind of a strange name, but it's basically managing a to-do list, okay? Uh, it's just missing the L. Um, so what this is, is it's a task manager. And you can see here on my screen that I have, you know, lots of different tasks. Um, I've got projects that are defined. Um, you can see due dates, some that are due today, some that are due tomorrow, some that are due Thursday, which is the October 1st. So there's lots of tasks that I have, you know, to follow up with potential customers and coaches on the first of the month, obviously. Yes. So do you, hopefully. Um, but you can kind of see that some of the tasks are a recurring task, so it happens uh, every single day or every single month, or I could set tasks up to be the second Tuesday of every month. Um, there's reminders, notifications, um, and also the great thing about this tool is you can download a version for the Mac, which I have. You could download a version for Windows. Um, you can also log into their, their web version, which is a fully functional version. It's the same functionality that you have in their, their app that runs on your PC, uh, runs on the web. Also, they have a, an app for every mobile device, so iPhone, Android, um, it synchronizes with that in real time. Uh, you can even, if you have a smart watch like an Android or um, uh, an Apple uh, watch. Uh, you can even get the app for the watch and uh, you know manage your to-do list on the watch. So it's a very cool fully functional uh, app with lots of features. Um, but just to show you how I use it to help me manage my business, um, you can see that I have uh, like to-do lists uh, or tasks um, you know to uh, follow up with coaches that I have or to follow up with potential customers or um, you know whatnot so you can see that I have um, you know a check-in with my new coach Alfredo tomorrow that I need to do uh, I can add notes uh, to this um, and you can see he became a coach uh, you know just this month now um, it's completely free app or completely free program, but there is uh, you can pay a couple dollars and get the premium version. I forget how much that was, and I do have that, and that allows me to do the notes, and it also allows me to add um, reminders, you know, or, or alert notifications, so that it'll actually send me an email or a text when an alert is due, which which is a pretty nice feature. So you know, if you if you I'd say try it in the free one if you like it. You know, then upgrade to the premium because it's it's very cool. Now you can see that I've set up um, different projects. Now you can have you know as many projects as you want. Uh, it could be as detailed as you want. You can have sub projects of projects, um, but basically I keep mine pretty simple. You know, I don't want to have you know 27 different steps that I have to move a customer through. You know, I want to keep it simple. I want to have I have potential customers. I have potential coaches. I have um, you know, a coach check-in so I can check in with my new coaches and, and check in with uh, my customers that are in like my premier groups and things like that. And you can see that it, it labels everybody, um, you know, uh, which, is, which is very nice. Um, now, I don't manage all my customers in this. This is not for managing customers. It's not a CRM, contact management uh, tool. Now, you know, there's other tools for that. Um, this is mainly managing your active to-do list, right? So, so think of this as I use this to manage the, the 10 in play rule, right? So, you know, if I have 10 coaches or 10 customers, 10 potential customers that are in play, I use that to, this tool to manage those customers. You know, if they're, if they're not, uh, you know, immediately on my to-do list or, you know, if, if they're like maybe sometime in the future, you know, most likely I won't even put them on this list. I don't, I don't want to manage tasks that are necessarily a year out, you know. I mean, I can 
put those in my my regular calendar or whatever as as a you know a follow up or reminder. These are just managing my day to day to day tasks that you know I really need to follow up with these ten people, and it and it helps me focus on what I really need to get done. So you can put in you know as as minute tasks as you know reminding yourself to check in with your challenge groups every day you know or um, you know follow-ups that you need to do uh, you know one thing that I do is when somebody purchases a challenge pack I can set a, a task to follow up with them you know one week before their next shipment and I can talk to them about becoming a discount coach or a regular coach you know a working coach um, but basically, you know, you want to you want to tell them that their Shakeology is going to ship and that their 30 day free Beachbody um, on demand membership is going to run out and they're going to get charged thirty eight dollars uh, next week. Uh, so it's, it's good just to follow up with them, let them know uh, that, you know, that type of information. Um, other things that you can do is you can set up uh, labels and, you know, um, I'm not. Um, just getting into labels, but um, you can set up as many labels as you want. You know, you can set up a label for every single program. You can see I have a label for my free group, um, and and you know, use those labels however you want. You can search on those labels. You can filter those labels. You know, um, and let me just show you. You know how easy it is to add a task. I could I could go to a particular uh, you know project and I can add a task to that project um, or I could just you know right from my inbox I could say add task and I could say you know Bill Smith um, uh, you know challenge pack and if I wanted you know let's say I knew it was going to be size well bam I could tag it with size and then you know I can say put a follow-up of October 1st and the other great thing is there's so many it recognized English uh, keywords here so you can say you know next Tuesday you could say um, every month I could put I could just type you know October 25th um, at 9 o'clock I could type that in there and it would automatically set it you know if I want to add reminders I can do that if I want to add priority um, you know, basic, basic things like that. So, um, very cool. What is this? Okay. Um, so I can add, add the tasks there and let's see, I could actually move that if I wanted to, I could move that to a potential customer. So you can see, you know, there's Bill Smith. He's now a potential customer. Um, so, um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, it was just, you know, a tool that I use to organize my tasks, my to-do list. It helps me manage my customers, my coaches. Um, and it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And I've been using it for probably six months now. But, um, you know, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have hundreds of tasks or, I mean, hundreds of projects so I'm sure, you know, if you want to learn more to become a power user, just go to the YouTube and, uh, you know, Google some of the, the videos. Um, but um, I would highly recommend it. Um, I love it so far. And um, if you have any questions, just message me. Bye.